my name is Barbara Simimo. Oh, I got um, six sisters, including me, that's seven. I got a lot of nieces and nephews. Yeah. I've got a huge family in it. Yeah. Well, I used to have boyfriends in that now, but uh, it's, it's been a hard thing, you know, to be in a relationship. The more I think about it, the more that um, um, I don't think I can ever take care of kids. Because I couldn't take care of my nieces and nephews. My attention span lacks a little bit you know, when it comes to kids and that. It's just that I, I need someone else's help every time that um, I'm taking care, taking care of my nieces and nephews. What kind of parent would I be if I had, if I had a kid and I didn't know how to take care of him? That would make me pretty bad for that. Like, just uh, basic things like uh, changing diapers or with um, how much money it's going to be for, like, how to get the stuff and uh, just all kinds of things. My mom says if I do have a kid and that she would help me and so would my sisters. My mom would be ecstatic. <laughs> She'd be like over the moon and all with it, you know, because she's always wishing and all that I can have a kid because all of my sisters have kids. She's always saying, you know what? I wish you no, know, you have kids too. It's like it would be, it would be, it would be great because all the same well, clan and all be all fulfilled, you know, with with kids. And it's like <sighs> I think in all the ways of if I was a parent, I would be a good parent. I would just make sure that. Um, my child is safe, and to make sure and all that um, I get them into good schools, and um, just just to generally be there, you know, just to to love him, take care of him, keep him safe. Anybody who says um, differently in that and all about people with disabilities having kids and that and all that's that's their way of passing judgment to them because they think that no, they, they can't take care of their kids. Anybody in the world can have children, no matter who that person is. No matter who that person is, then they, can't, they can't pass judgment on you just because you know, you're, you're disabled and you have a child and that, no, they, nobody should pass judgment on you because if, it always has to go by if you're a good parent or if you're a good parent or so. It doesn't have to be like, you know, if you're disabled, no, I had to take this kid away from you. You know, you can't take care of this kid and all this and that. It, it just drives me nuts the way everybody's always judging um, people by that. It, it just drives me nuts the way everybody's always judging um, people by that. What did you think that you said that was the most important thing, Barb? That, um... People shouldn't judge um, people with disabilities, you know, for what uh, they want to do and how they want to do it, not how they live their life. I think, you know, that um, people with disabilities should decide what they want to do and how they want to live their life.